Okay, it's time to test the battery and fuse access. So this is the Unity UT61E. Hard to tell them apart because they're nearly identical in size and shape. Well, looks like uh, it's only battery access. It's a nine volt and it's got tab soldered to the PCB in this weird little carriage thing that holds it and it looks like it is polarized so you can't hook it in backwards. And uh, not a terrible design, but uh, it doesn't go into um, a metal nut. So just crappy plastic self tapper and considering that's how you get to the battery, that's pretty shitty, so. Very bad, Unity, very bad. X-Tech EX430. Right off the bat, I hardly see anything. Oh, there we go. Two screws, it looks like. Those do feel like machine screws, so that's good. Yep. Looks like you just got a 9 volt and then two uh, metal inserts or nuts and no fuse access, so eh. And I, I hate these soft battery snaps. They're crap. Amprobe AM530. Looks like the kickstand comes off and is attached to the battery door. That is definitely a machine screw, so that's a uh, big thumbs up. Goes into a metal nut. And it's the nice type of metal tab soldered to the PCB for the 9 volt. No fuse access. And it's actually surprisingly similar to the Uni T one. So that's a little suspicious and weird, but who knows? It's <laughs> that, I, I mean, hmm. That's almost identical, so I don't know who copied who, but BK Precision. Okay, looks like two screws to get to the battery compartment, I think. That is a self-tapper. That is a self-tapper. So yeah, that's a little disheartening once again. Name brand, shitty overall construction, and you can't get to the battery without taking two self-tapping screws out that go straight into the plastic. And it's the shitty type of battery snap. I really just can't find much I like about this meter so far, but hey, maybe it'll surprise us later on. Look at this crap. This is the flimsiest, crappiest kickstand. Duh. Seriously, this thing is just cheap. I know people are going to have a problem with this because I know there's some BK Precision fanboys out there. Circuit test. DMR 6550. Ah, oh, it's a stupid kickstand you can't open without something to pry it with. Looks like these two screws remove the battery section. So this one, the kickstand, is not attached to the battery door. God, I can't get this out. Terrible design. How the hell do you get this out? Jesus Christ. Okay. Man, that is not easy to get to. So, at least it goes into some receivers, and at least there's a somewhat crappy way of getting to a fuse so threaded inserts and 
fuse access, so that's good, but it uses a crappy soft battery snap. I, I hate those things. And it was pretty hard to get the stupid thing off, so hold peak HP 760H. Um, ah, it's this type. I keep seeing similar designs. I have a feeling there's one OEM manufacturer that makes a lot of these for all the different brands because while the rest of the meter might have differences, there are a lot of similarities when it comes to the kickstand design and the battery compartment design. So that does go into to, uh, threaded nuts or threaded rece metal receivers, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's one of those soft battery snaps and no fuse excess, so that's crap. And, and it looks like it's got the molding there for putting the little AA battery terminal things in there, but apparently they decided that it's not worth putting in there, so eh. No fuse access, but at least you can get to it using threaded inserts and machine screws. Klein Tools MM2000. Oh, okay, so this is one. This one I've already played around with, and you can't get to the battery compartment without taking the holster off. And this holster is freaking hard to get off. It hurt my fingers pretty bad trying to get it off. It had uh, the orange holster came across right here. So this is all the orange holster and it made it impossible. And I realized that if I were to cut it, it would make this a lot easier to get off because then I could put my thumbs here to pull it off. So that's why there's cut marks here. I don't remember if there's fuse access or not, but I do remember that you have to pull the stupid thing off of there. Good Lord, who designs this crap? I guess this is designed for electricians with sausage fingers or something. Cause man, that's hard to get off of there. Okay, this is looking familiar. But yeah, see, this the battery compartment comes all the way around, so you can't get that off without taking the stupid holster off of it. So that's kind of a, a downside. I, I hate when they design it that way. But look at that. It's worth the price of entry because it uses triple A's. And look. You have fuse access, and not only do you have fuse access, they're the really big, properly rated, high rupture capacity ceramic fuses. So that's awesome, and it goes into a threaded metal nut. So uh, aside from having to take the holster off, if you could have gotten to this without taking the rubber holster off, especially without having to modify the stupid thing to get it off easier, this would by far be number one, I think. But we still have a few to look at, and a few that I've never touched. And some of these I played around with when I first Pulled them out of the box, but some of these I have not, so. Uh, Tech Power TP40. Uh, another one of these where you gotta pull the stupid thing off. There's the holster for those who are curious. Uh, looks like there's a battery compartment, but. Look at this, there's no way to keep this out of the way. It's just, uh, Stupid design. Stupid, stupid design. That is a machine screw. So is that one. Ah, uh, so annoying. Okay, so just as I thought, machine screws go into metal nuts, and unfortunately it's the battery, 9 volt battery snap, the soft snap, I hate those things. Very little slack, that makes going to make it hard to change that, and no fuse access. So, just the fact that this thing is in the way and I have to take the holster off, this is going to get a thumbs down from me. UniT, UT61D. I think I already did the E model. I think it was the first one I did, but maybe the E model comes with a threaded insert. Nope, still a self tapper, which is crap. No fuse access, but at least it's not a soft snap. At least it's the uh, solder to the PCB things. And check, check this out. Uni T branded battery. That is new to me. That's hilarious. So. Uh, yeah, at least 
at least it's not a soft battery snap. It's, and it's it's easy to access it. I'll give it that, but God, why do they have to do this? Stupid self tapper. Anyways, uh, here's the south wire. I'm gonna say it's probably these two. Okay, so the machine screws are going to two metal nuts, so that's very good. And it uses uh, proper battery tabs instead of a soft battery snap, so that's also good, but there's no fuse access. And uh, yeah, and look, it's uh, Dave Jones' favorite, Golden Power. He's being sarcastic, by the way, he hates those. Okay, we got the Radio Shack. Ah. Uh, another one of these where you gotta pull the stupid surround off but this one isn't too terribly hard to pull off so and this looks like a battery door and I've actually opened this before because I've reviewed this a couple of months a few months ago three months ago four months ago but it's been a while I don't remember oh hell yeah double A's no fuse access though so Gotta take the holster off, that's a downside, but at least it's a threaded uh, metal insert that the machine screw goes into, so we'll give it a little bit of credit. And they even went through the trouble of putting on a little uh, thing here to basically keep the screw from falling out whenever you pull it out, so it's captured or trapped or whatever you want to call it. So, eh, not terrible. Tech Power TP2844R. Looks like a big battery door right at the top. Hmm, screws out and I can't get it open. Okay, so it is a machine screw that goes into a metal nut, and then, wow, that's crap. There is no slack on that. That would be really hard to replace that battery. That's all the slack there is, and then there's no fuse access, so. Uh, let me make sure there's no fuse door. No. So, yeah, at least there's an insert and you can get to it without taking the whole thing apart, but it's a crappy battery snap and there's no slack. That's kind of crappy. Okay, the UEI. Um, well, we might have to take the holster off, but I can't, I can't tell. Maybe we won't. Oh, no, we don't. Nice. I like when you don't have to do that. It, it is a machine screw, so that's awesome. Uh, it's a crappy soft battery snap, but at least there's some slack and it comes out pretty easily. So no fuse access though. Okay. Fluke 107. So you could just use a coin, you don't even need to have any tools available, and being fluke, uh, they're smart, and they went with uh, AAA batteries. It's not a lot of spring tension though, that's a little surprising. But uh, yeah, I mean there's no fuse access, but at least you can uh, get to the batteries without even needing a tool, so I like that, that's not too bad. Okay, and then last but not least we got the Innova which uh, there's no battery door, which means I think we got to pull the whole thing apart to get to the batteries. And that's stupid. Why do they design it that way? It's 
beyond me. Well, at least it's only two screws, but they're, uh, they're shitty little self-tappers that go into plastic. Each time you go to replace the batteries, they're gonna wear out, so. Yeah, and it's really annoying that you have to take the whole thing apart just to get to the batteries, because, yeah, that's just stupid. But anyways, uh, double ace, uh, that might be the first double ace we've seen in out of all of these, so that's pretty cool that they use double A's, and, and being this dinky little thing, uh, well, I mean, we'll test later, but I, I would imagine this thing will go forever on a set of double A's, assuming they utilize the potential of those double A's. But having to take it apart, that's crap. And not going in, not having uh, machine screws.